Hey, this is Notzer, and we're in the kit off. This is the 612 kit off. I honestly was surprised with the reaction. It was like some people were, and this isn't I, everyone, but even one comment where it's like, kit off doesn't need a buff. It's a cruiser, it's a tier 5 cruiser, and it's not really played that much. Now, is that because it's not fun? Perhaps. But I don't really know. If that's the reason, I think it's not played because not a lot of people play Tier 5, and I don't know why this game is such a great candidate for mid to not max tier play. It's just not like World of Tanks. You don't need to be the top tier tank in order to succeed. Quite like oh, top tier ship. <laughs> Ships, tanks, airplane. So, yeah, I, I think it's really weird when I see, oh, the cruiser's fine. Oh yeah? Well, let's see. Let's see if the cruiser's fine. Now, this is the pre-buff. So this has 800 meters per second, and of course the target is hiding. Not going to be the easiest ship to use. And I just want to see. This has main armament. It has the accuracy module. It has lower chance of flood and fire. It's got a six-scale commander, so it probably is priority target. Expert marksman. And if I were to guess on the six skill, it maybe basic firing training, maybe uh, no demolition expert. Demolition expert is probably what I am. Well, that worked out pretty cool. That was just a lucky shot, uh, clearly. Alright, so the goal of the kit off is stay at my max range and use my velocity to my advantage. That's basically the Soviets. And that works out pretty well. I should have fired at this guy, I didn't realize he was going to be right there. He's going to die to torpedoes. I'm not going to shoot him. What? Did he fully absorb? Yeah, that was weird. He had fully absorbed the shot or the torpedo, and he actually died to the flood damage. Okay. Wow. Boy, the velocity is going to be really nice on this ship when they get it up there. These shots are going to be so much easier. I mean, I already feel vulnerable. And I'm, I'm near my max range, too. Alright. So we're playing fine. Two enemy DDs dead. We've got a point. It's one to one. We don't need to press. Just play smart. And this is one of those ships where if you make one mistake, you go forward too fast, you're going to be punished. Your citadel's too tall, you're too sluggish on the turn, yada yada yada. Your rate of fire is horrible. So if I had a better rate of fire, I could probably deal with the destroyer there and get the kill. But it wasn't my kill to really care about or steal, so I, I didn't really mind that. But getting one second off the reload is going to be nice. Next patch. Oh, 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 oh. There we go, baby. Remember, these are 180 millimeter guns. These are the same sort of gun style that is on the Molotov. Dmitry Dunskoy. So... I do pretty, pretty good damage. You honestly don't need a nurse fuse high explosive for this ship. Not that I have enough skill points for it. If I did, I would get concealment first, clearly. Because it can be seen from space. Colorado is slow, so I want to give about half lead. Anyone who's, you know, I always 
see this. What's the... What is your crosshair set to? Well, this is dynamic. Dynamic is scaled to 30 knots. And at 30 knots, this indicator, this six second indicator, is one to one with this, these uh, tick marks. So that's what you want to consider. And I'm taking fire from the Fiji. Boy, this kamikaze are. He is not in the best position. God, this rate of fire is difficult to use. It's just, it's just a little too slow. Just a touch too slow. Like 7.5 would feel much better. All right, all right, there's a fire. There's four guy. Okay, okay. We got this October revolution over here. Oh, by the way, the torpedoes are completely defensive in nature. You, you don't use them for anything other than that. Now, I know this ship burns, so if I can, I would love to make a burn. Ninja King 9802. I don't hit the friendly George. Okay. This is definitely a win for our team, but we've got to get some damage. I don't really remember the... Oh, what was it? I don't really remember... The speed and all that of the October Revolution, so I don't really know the, the lead correctly. I do know the American battleship, 21 knots. So you want to draw it in. And when I use my indicator, and it, it's it's sort of an oval, it gets it gets wider as you draw. But if it's 9.7, this is where I would normally aim, and I want to draw it into about six ish and we'll see if that's enough it all depends on how fast he comes out of the turn and stuff like that but it, it looks like it looks like it's on target yeah that's yeah, not too bad he puts it out immediately and again the rate of fire is just slow enough that I don't actually benefit from it it doesn't it's not fast enough to follow up and set another fire and it's not slow enough that my next trigger pull would set a fire and would stick to the ship. Kind of hear like a mechanical, ch -ch -ch -ch, like the rounds being shoved in. It sounds weird. All right, there's a fire. Good. Yeah, I kind of hear that. Do you hear that? It sounds kind of weird. The French is gonna go. It's another fire. Good. game's over. Eh, the key it off. It's not bad. It's just not that good. Man, that rate of fire. I forgot that rate of fire was that slow. Didn't it feel slow just watching it? Man, there was nothing impressive about that game, but I, I do indeed want to... Wow, this is a blah. But I just wanted to see... There's a lot of tier 5 cruisers and tier 6 cruisers that, quite frankly, are not good enough. And they need to be improved. And is this one of them? I don't know. I know the Omaha is horrible. And I bet you Wargaming is waiting for the U.S. cruiser split, which will probably come mid-2018 at this point. But if they feel like there's something they can adjust slightly to improve its performance, they're going to do it. Is it justified? I don't know. Maybe it's too much. The velocity is going to make it easier to be at max range, which in turn will save you from taking damage. You notice that my steering was knocked out, I think, twice or three times. So clearly it's vulnerable. 
as far as not a lot of people even shot at me, but I also stayed back and used my team. I kind of feel like some ships are really bad when they're losing, like really bad. They don't have the armor to mitigate, and I think cruisers are one of those that just, in general, it's hard for them to fulfill the stated goal of games, either like 50,000 damage, a kill or two, a cap, you know, it's just not, it's not something that you usually do. So I think the kit offs, velocity and rate of fire is going to be nice improvement. Is it better than the Furutaka? I, you know what? I think the Furutaka is great. 203s, that's a huge advantage. Now these are 180. So it's really close. And it's not going to have a problem with Omaha's and any Murmansk, anything like that that's a copy of it. Even the Germans are pretty low armored. What was it? It's not the Nuremberg, it's the Königsberg, right? Yeah, Königsberg is the tier 5. So, yeah. I kind of want cruisers to be better. I don't think we've ever had a state of the game where cruisers have been dominant. They've certainly been effective, but it's either been aircraft carriers, battleships, or destroyers. And if we bordered on making the cruisers absolutely the highest theoretical damage output, but super vulnerable to fire, I think that would be a very interesting way to design them. Glass cannons, maybe make a cruiser line or two that is really tanky, but they can't do any damage. I, th I think I think it's just too easy for a battleship to be tanky, last long enough because of their health pull to do the damage that they would normally average out. Whereas with a cruiser, if I took one or two random RNG shots from AP, I'm dead. So... I'm not going to be completely against buffing cruisers. Not until the world exists where cruisers are just overbearingly dominant. And then I'm going to have a problem. But right now, push it to the limit. Let's see how far we can go with cruisers and improving them. Maybe people will play them more and have more fun playing them. I don't know. That sounds crazy though, right? Either way, this was the kit off in 612. Really, really meh. Not impressive at all. Takes a lot of damage. Rate of fire definitely feels a little too slow for what you're getting. Especially compared to other ships. Things have just outpaced it. And, you know, the velocity is really good. Maybe we don't need the velocity improvement, but it will allow you to stay back further. Again, this is a ship caliber that doesn't benefit from advanced firing training. You don't have a way of extending your max range, so that's what you get. So if it was on something like a tier 9 or a tier 10, it would be a bigger deal because the module would allow you to improve it further, like the Muskva. The Muskva can literally hit at its max range 70 or 80% of the time because of the velocity. So if that exists and this exists at tier 5, I'm not going to be super hypercritical about it. I just want to see a world where it's more powerful. More power. Give the Omaha more power, the Phoenix more power, because they're, they're awful. They're, they're just loot pinatas it's so easy to kill them as a battleship captain so i hope this was interesting i don't know if it was enjoyable i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll catch you next time oh yeah by the way streaming we're having issues the node is being worked on three or four engineers came out and they were working on it said it's going to take at least a day and then i'll have a follow-up sometime early next week or I guess we're at the beginning of the week already, but sometime this week I will know and we'll go from there. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time.